Alright, so in this video, we're going to be going to adding our specific web server or Minecraft server to Cloudflare DNS. And this process is just going to show you how to get this all set up. So go ahead and sign up on Cloudflare and then uh, go ahead and log in. Once you have logged in, we can go to add site and we're going to be using my uh, free nom right here. So this is just going to be Stark PVP and this will also work for free domains. Uh, you can do paid domains from, uh, you know, Namecheap, GoDaddy, Name.com, all that good stuff. So once you have your domain selected and if you did just register it, you might need to wait maybe like 15 to 30 minutes uh, to make sure that it is uh, synced up uh, to the internet. And then once you have uh, added it to your specific uh, cloud fair, we can go select free and we can go ahead and hit continue. So then cloud fair is going to look for various records that you might have. So now it has picked up some uh, DNS records. If it does pick up some or if it does, doesn't pick up any, you can just go ahead and hit continue. We will change this a little bit later. But the next thing that we need to do is we need to remove our name servers and then add cloud fair. So to do that, you need to go to your specific domain register. So uh, in Cloudflare specifically, we can go back to my domains here, and then we can go to manage, uh, the manage button, and we're gonna go to management tools and then name servers. Then select custom name servers, and then we're going to be adding a Cloudflare. So we're just gonna click that copy that into name server one click the second one and there we go so uh for your specific account you'll have uh depending on the region you will have specific uh, cloud fair name servers so just put whatever it tells you in your specific uh, settings here now we can go ahead and change our name servers on um, freenom if you have like namecheap or name.com uh this is basically the same process you'll need to change your um name servers uh to point to cloud fair so it's not NS records, it's actually the name servers itself. So uh, just uh, find out how you can do that on your specific uh, domain area. So we can go ahead and click done. Once those have been added, we can go finish later and we're gonna be going into our DNS settings. Right here, I already have some records pre-made set up that it did import previously, but I'm gonna head and delete those uh, just to show you guys. We're gonna do a fresh records show you guys can follow along here. Today's video sponsor is the Sangata Marketplace, and if you are looking for any type of unique or custom plugin for your Minecraft server, there is quite a bit of selection over there, so make sure you guys go check them out using the link down in the description, and you can find some great plugins for your server. Now we can go ahead and start adding our specific records. If you have a 25565 port at the very end, uh, then basically the default of Minecraft, then you do not need to basically do any extra steps. All you have to do is make sure you have a type A record, and then you can put in your name. You can use the at symbol for the root record, which represents just the, the base domain name. And then you could do like play, and then put in your specific server IP address, and then that's pretty much it. Make sure you turn off the proxy status, and then that is your DNS. In my case, I do not have that 255 port, so we have to do some additional additional steps. So let's go ahead and do that. So in my case, um, I want players to be able to use the base domain and then let's say like MC and place. So I can have like three different types of IPs in case like someone forgets one uh, so they can join on all three of them. So that is what I'm going to be doing and you can just follow along. So what we need to do is I'm going to make a specific uh, record called a join. All right, so essentially we're going to be uh, basically forwarding our SRV record to this A record. I'll show you guys how uh, that all works. Now we need our specific IPv4 address, so I'm going to head and copy it right here. Just get your IP, and then you can paste it in. Make sure you remove the port, and you also turn off the proxy status. So you just click it off and make sure it says DNS only. I'm going to set the TTL to two minutes, all right? So there we go. So that is our A record called join. So we will not be using this directly for people to connect. We're going to be doing the SRV type record, all right? So we can scroll down to the very bottom or you can just type it in here. So it's going to be SRV. Now we need to input the name. So this is what players are going to connect with. So we can actually use that at symbol in this case. So this would be our base domain name. Now the service has to be underscore Minecraft 
keep the protocol as TCP. We're going to keep the TTL to two minutes. I'm going to set this uh, to zero and the weight is going to be zero and then the port. So this is the port of our specific Minecraft server. So 2301. So I'm going to put that in here, 2301, and then the target. So this is very important. This target represents your A record that it's basically saying, hey, join this specific A record uh, using our specific um, base domain name. All right. So it's basically almost forwarding it to that specific A record in a sense. So to do that, it's going to be join dot stark pvp .tk. so say you made an a record called connect or something so you could do connect dot your domain name right here so make sure whatever uh the target represents whatever a record that you basically want it to point to all right so now we can save that so let's go ahead and save that so now we can go ahead and check it in our minecraft uh, right here so we uh, made our specific base domain name right here so this is our root record or our basic uh domain name here and we're going to add it to my server and we're going to paste it in and see what happens there we go it is already registered cloudflare is very fast at doing this which is perfect so there we go we can actually join our server so if we go ahead and join it it's going to say hey you know welcome to the game check our council and there we go and yes i am on a vpn so it's all good but anyways as you can see it is working properly now if we go back over here we can make a new srv record called like play or mc and then it's going to be pointing to the same thing so let me go ahead and do that so make sure you do type srv and we can use the name play so people will connect with play.startpvp.tk or whatever uh, you put in there make sure the service underscore minecraft protocol is going to be tcp i'm going to set the ttl to zero the priority is going to be zero i'm going to set the weight to five this time and then 2301 so i usually like to set these a little bit different from your base one because if you have multiple sometimes they can conflict with one another so that's why i usually set it up by like five five ticks or so but anyways let's go ahead and make our target so the target is going to be the same a record that we made down here so i can just copy paste it from this old one so i'm going to put in the target there and save that and we can save this as well so now we can pop open minecraft and we go ahead and disconnect and let's see we can add our server so we just made a new one so play.starkpvp.tk and let's go ahead and click done and there we go as you see it did pop up perfectly let's go ahead and join and as simple as that you can make as many as you want which is perfect so as you see we have our base domain here as well as our play right there and it's both registering perfectly so that is how you set that up so that pretty much concludes everything with your minecraft server dns so this final portion i'm going to be going over is if you have a forums or a website and you want to use both your uh, root record for your website as well as connecting to your minecraft server so this section is going to cover that portion so I'm going to be using our uh, Solnode web host and I already have this domain synced up to the web host but currently there's no records for it so as you see it just says you know you can't connect all right so that is the starkpvp.tk on the web so what I'm going to be doing is we're going to head and add a new AA record and this is going to be the at symbol for the root and the IP address is going to be whatever wherever you're hosting your website or web host um, that is going to the, be the IP of the web server. In my case, I'm using Solnode web server, so this is the IP address of it, and we can actually leave this to proxied because it is a website. You cannot have this proxied if it's specifically for your Minecraft server, so this is only uh, pertains to your website itself. So we can leave the proxy on and we can save that. Now what we are doing is we have an A record for our specific route and that is going to be going to our website, but we also can join because we have our SRV record and an A record called join, which is basically the SRV is pointing to this. So there's no conflicts with the base domain name uh, because we have a separate A record. So that is how that works. So now um, 
should, I don't know if it's loaded quite yet, but let's go ahead and see. Yeah, so it hasn't loaded quite yet, but once it loads, we can actually go to our website using our specific root record. So I'm going to head and check if this has been loaded. So let's go ahead and go to start PvP. And there we go. That is my template for uh, Soul Node web server. So that is actually working. So let me go ahead and make sure it's still working for our specific Minecraft and there is our base domain name. So that is how you set up your website as well as your Minecraft using your root record so there's no conflicts. So make sure you have it set up basically like this and you should be ready to rock and roll. And that's pretty much it. So let me know if you guys have any questions down below. Just follow these previous steps and it will eventually work. So uh, just wait a few minutes if it doesn't work and then you should be good to go. But anyways, hope you did enjoy. Leave a like down below. I do appreciate that. And I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.